All right, I thought I'd take today and use an impression that came in the office to um, illustrate um, a deficient technique, we'll call it. Um, I don't believe it, I don't, I, I know it's because they don't understand what custom tray fabrication does and, and, and uh, how custom tray fabrication works. So I thought I'd just like go back and kind of just highlight the points of a custom tray real quick. Um, as we know, the bottom of the vestibule, and I'll use this dark pencil, this blue pencil, to illustrate that, that's the bottom of the vestibular area. All right, that area is the area that we want to um, border mold. Well, in order to do that, we have to make custom trays, which are short of that, by about an eighth of an inch. I'll illustrate with a red pencil. Just do this real quick, just to show you. All right, on this impression, because it's easy to see, I hope. You can see. All right, so we want to be short of the vestibular area when we're making our custom trays. Why? Well, the reason is because the area that we've relieved or taken back off of the floor is the area where the actual border molding material is going to go. And remember, custom trays are made from overextended, uh, overextended impressions, which are preliminary, and then are cut back in order to uh, provide what we're looking for, which is if we know where the bottom of the vestibular area is, then we can relieve back about an eighth of an inch so that then we can get that area molded uh, clinically to uh, interpret this area. Well, I got in a, uh, an impression today which I thought was a perfect example of how if you're getting impressions in, how you can interpret what you see uh, in regards to not having relief. And here's a perfect example. It's a lower. Uh, it came in and I look at it from this direction and I see border molding compound here. That looks great. But then when I flip it over, I realize what's going on here. And what's going on is this. This area right here is the bottom of the vestibular area. And this area here is on the front of the vestibular area. And what this, what this border molded impression did was nothing because, although it was border molded and the time was taken, the problem is that it wasn't relieved. It wasn't cut back in this area here, which should have also been in border molding compound what, before the impression was taken, was never done. So, you know, when you get an impression in like this, as a favor to your clinical partners, your doctors, your clients, I would say that when you see this, when you spot this kind of a situation where there's no border molding compound in the bottom of the vestibular area, it's a great, that's a great time to give them a call and to help them by reviewing the technique, okay? And again, the technique is a custom tray, which, by the way, they made in-house, but they didn't know the rudiments, they didn't understand the rudiments of how to make a custom tray because they never relieved it. Uh, and so, consequently, they border molded the inside of the cheek rather than the bottom of the vestibular area to reflect what's there. So the, custom, so the tray itself, the custom tray if you want to call it that, was already way extended and actually pushed that vestibular area down. Now, some people might see these two attachment locations here. I think they're probably ERAs or locators. It look like ERAs. Um, and think to themselves, oh, why didn't they do a pickup impression? Well, we can take and process around these areas and allow them to do a chair side setting. That's not really the issue. But, but it is the issue because it's even more critical that this is a, uh, you know, this is a, an impression which takes into account um, uh, vestibular support or uh, tissue support. And it's a good thing to have a well border molded impression even more so because these cannot these attachments are not supporting their retaining again just wanted to show you this if you see this kind of a situation bring it up to your accounts and see if you can't um, square it away get it corrected 
In other words, relieved. All right, if you have any questions, you got the email, tzaleski at gmail.com. Thanks for viewing again today, and we'll see you again. Hope this helped. Leave me some feedback on my YouTube channel if you think so.